I am Bowtie So Fly, and welcome to our first episode of Game Tirades. So, for anyone who doesn't know what a tirade is, it's basically a really long-winded rant in which I'll be talking about something or complaining about something that I have an issue with in the gaming industry. So, for this first episode of Game Tirades, I want to talk about something that I'm sure is very common for many of you out there. You're playing your favorite first-person shooter game, and you're attempting to capture a flag, a hard point, a zone, and all of a sudden you're swarmed by, like, five people on the enemy side. And you're like, whoa, what happened? Where's the rest of my team at? Why didn't they come support me? I got it. They're probably out capturing another point, right? Wrong. One of the biggest issues I have with first-person shooting games, specifically their objective modes, is that of KD, or kill-death ratio. For those of you who don't know what a KD or a kill-death ratio is, that counts the number of kills that you get in a life compared to the number of times you die. So, let's say in a match that you kill 10 people, but you only die 5 times. 10 divided by 5 would be 2, so your kill-death ratio would be 2.00. So, normally in gaming circles, anything above a 1.00 is considered to be at least decent. That means that for every life, you're at least killing one person or more. Now, the problem with this in objective-based game modes is that people focus more on killing other people than actually accomplishing objectives. So, instead of capturing hard points, capturing flags, zones, capturing relics for any of you who play Destiny, people just go around and kill other people. Now, they still get points for this, it still factors into their KD, but they're not actually doing the objective, which I kind of have a problem with. I play objective-based game modes in order to take a break from the free-for-alls and the team deathmatches, in which KD is the only thing that you're going off of. And I'll, I'm not in any way opposed to kill-death ratios. I just think they don't really have as much of a place in objective-based gaming because people focus more on keeping up that KD, because apparently that's the only way that you can be good at games is to have a high KD, instead of focusing on the actual objectives and objective scores. So, in order to rectify this, I have come up with, in addition to scouring the internet, for some ways to help fix this in future first-person shooting games. Initially, what you could do, or what game designers could do, is penalize players on their overall score who don't actually accomplish any objectives. So if you're not there to help your team capture a point or capture a flag or make it first to something, you would receive a penalty. You wouldn't do as well. You would be ranked lower. So, that would be kind of hard to enforce, unfortunately, so I don't think it is necessarily the best option. The second thing that game designers could do would be just not to count kills in a KD at all in objective-based game modes. In fact, just entirely remove it. Or, if they're not going to do that, simply don't count kills as points. If people aren't getting points or aren't getting a KD off of things they're doing in objective-based game modes, they would then have to focus on those objectives, rather than simply just trying to run around killing people to rack up a higher KD. This means that objective-based game modes would actually focus more on the objective, rather than the two people who are trying and the four people who are just running around killing people. Now, the final thing that could be done, and I think this is actually a good idea, and I've seen numerous people support this idea online, is to either have simply an objective score, rather than a KD for objective-based game modes, or to include multiple types of experience and stats that people could showcase. So, instead of just having a KD, you could have combat experience, support experience, so things you get like assists or helping other people take an, uh, a hard point or take a flag or do something else, protecting a runner, for example, in Rift and Destiny, and then objective experience. So when you actually do things yourself, like capture a point or... Again, Rift and Destiny, you actually take uh, the energy to the Rift, and that way you would gain objective-based experience. So this would show that, yeah, you didn't really focus so much on the combat and the KD, but you're really good to have in objective-based game modes. So I think really any of these, specifically the second and third options that I mentioned, would be great things for game designers to implement into future first-person shooter games, specifically their objective-based game modes, to break up the monotony of people just running around killing each other and ruining objective-based game modes by focusing on KD. So, of course, this is just my opinion, and I would love to hear what you all think. So, 
If you support any of these ideas, dislike any of these ideas, or even have suggestions of your own, be sure to leave them in the comments section. And please, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more game tirades where I complain about things in the video game industry, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Bowtie So Fly saying have a great day and stay fly.